MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four now of the American League Championship Series between the Seattle Mariners and the Cleveland Indians. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. Postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now. Your Cleveland Indians. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. A moment now to give you a look at the Mariners starting lineup. Who are you focused on Dan please Well Matt we all know it the man to watch Giancarlo Stanton. He had five RBIs in his last game. That's a lot of runs driven in opportunities. He's getting them and he's cashing in. Corey Kluber will be on the mound for game four. H.R. what's the word on him. Well Matt it was a tough outing for him last out and he threw the ball good went seven complete innings and then he took the loss but to me the big thing here throwing strikes he was able to throw strikes he was aggressive in the strike zone he does that again in this game he's got a chance to win this game time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Indians and behind the plate Jan Gomes you know he calls one of the best games in baseball he's got a great pitching staff to work with but the thing I like about him he will throw to different bases and he can only do that because he's got such good footwork. Leading off tonight for Seattle, right fielder, number one. Started to go around there, appeal down to first. Yes, sir, says the first base umpire, strike one. Now the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Nick wins under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's gone two for six. Two of those hits were for home runs. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. A solo home run here for Kyle Seeger. His first homer so far in the series as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. Well, I'm excited to check the home run numbers that come out on show track because that was just one of the most impressive launches we've seen in a good while. And as the numbers come in that ball was projected to have carried over 460 feet an amazing show of strength. Digging in now, Ken Griffey Jr. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ken Griffey Jr. Into the windup and the pitch. 
hit hard towards center. And a base hit there as Junior's aboard. Well, there's another hit by him here in the postseason. You talk about impact players. This is how you impact the series, the way he's been swinging the bat. Carlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. It's a swinging bunt up the line, but it gets fouled. The 0 1 pitch. Runners off for second. Back up the middle. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he is in there. Oh, he's looking for that double play ball. He got the sinker, got the ball hit on the ground, but it happened to find a hole. Hit hard up the middle. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Well, he went up there six. with the game plan looking for Watch one that. specific pitch, Corey. and he got it. He hit Seeker. it hard. When a guy hits the ball that hard, you know he was looking for it. First offering on its way. On a line to shortstop. Batting seven. The catcher, number three, Mike Zunina. an impressive swing there to start the at bat it's 0-1 you know I think this is a big situation in this game they've got to lead by a couple of runs but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path scoring more here would be huge two men are on with two men out And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Mariners, two. Tribe coming up. You're watching. And with that, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the Indians. How do they go about staying alive in this one, Harold? Well, you come in and you realize, man, we're already down two. What do you do? You play within yourself. We get a leadoff guy on. The next man moves him up or moves him over. Then our middle guys, maybe we hit a big bop to get in it. You don't have to go get two runs this inning. Just get one. Keep chipping away and giving yourself a chance. Nate Evaldi will do the pitching with a trip to the World Series on the table. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Mariners. And at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt. Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised he does the splits on you every now and then. Leading off with a tribe, center fielder, Tyler McQuinn. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Mano Imano against Nady Evaldi. Comes in with six hits in 22 tries. Ball two now. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. Sent on the ground out to second. A quick out number one. Batting second, designated hitter, Roberto Tejeda. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. 
looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. And with two away, here's a look at our updated Batting playoff third. brackets. And a question on everyone's mind is, will we be able to punch our first Lynn ticket to the Gore. World Series after tonight's ball game? Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Lindor. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Now, Matt, Daryl Parker's one of those guys. You're going to take him to dinner. You know what he's going to order? Steak and potatoes. He is basic. He's going to make sure he does not make a mistake. No sushi, no lasagna. He's not going off the board. Steak and potatoes, man, right here, consistent. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tribe. They trail it here, two to nothing. <laughs> 